So Monday comes along and of course there's got to be a disaster. Normally you're changing tyres and stuff like that, but today it's our creepy crawly is not moving. It's strange because it's like it's thumping a good 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 but it's not moving. So uh, I have got to sort this thing out. Uh, so I took it down to the pool people and they said, no, it's no problem. What your problem is the skirt is worn. I said, oh, gosh, how can I come out in a worn skirt? Anyway, they changed the skirt for me. I take it back to my house, put it back in the pool, and it's exactly the same. It's not moving. So um, I, I start pulling the, the creepy out of the water, and as I'm pulling it, my hand goes to where the swivel joint is. This is a swivel joint. And um, there's there's... All the suction that's been lost through the swivel joint is completely disintegrated. So I've got to get a new machine. Off I go down to the same pool, pool people again. Um, I order a swivel joint so I've got a spare, creepy crawly, and a new machine. And it's called the Dominatrix. Oh, I love that name. Anyway, I'm going to show you how I put it together. Um, Hopefully, it'll help you with your quest for one of your Monday mornings. So, here we are down at the cold face, as it were, and with my Dominator. And the first thing I'm going to see is how you open the box. And with a short space of time, I've realized I'm going to need a knife. Bear with me. Knife in hand. I can now start opening this thing up and uh, it would probably help it but it's the right way up there we go uh, much better at first glance I'm thinking to myself I've been sold a dummy here because the box with the dominator in it is tiny anyway here it comes out That's the fella. Look at that. Ah, proud beauty. Doesn't look very big, does it? Anyway, you get a whole bunch of free um, hoses with it. They're not really free because you've paid for them, but we'll call them free. And the most important parts is the manual, which we're going to completely ignore. You get two pieces of equipment in this box. This is the one. And it, these things are very, very important. And I'm going to take this all inside so I can show you how it all works. And these are the two pieces of equipment that I said were very, very important. The first is this one. It's a regulator. And the second one is this one which is your suction gauge now let's suppose that this is your hose and your weir and your weir is at this end and this is the other end where your your dominator would go in there you take the dominator out and you push this little regulator in and then your reg your dominator would normally go on outside of the regulator we're going to put the tester in. And the tester goes in there like that, and that's what you've got. Yeah, beautiful. So now the tester will show you how much suction you've got. If your suction is too strong, then uh, your dominator is going to whiz around the pool, but it will wear out in a very short space of time, and you'll be very disappointed because it won't have lasted as long as you wanted. If it's too weak, then it's not going to clean properly, it's not going to move very fast, and it's not going to go up the walls. So you need your tester to show you exactly between the lines like this. And if it's there, it's in the perfect position to clean your pool properly. How do you regulate where it goes? This is your regulator. It's got a little valve here. And the screw cap 
uh, allows you to adjust the valve. If you screw it in, you'll have more uh, suction. If you screw it out, you'll have less suction. So you just play with that until you find your suction in the middle. Now I've got a bit of a problem because I um, am working on my own here. So I haven't got anybody to turn the motor on and off for me. So I'm going to put it straight into the weir as opposed to on the other end of the pipes. It gives us a feel. So there it is in my weir. And I've set up the suction perfectly. And now I'm going to put my, my uh, dominator on. Bearing in mind that uh, the pipe isn't in the hole yet in the weir. And I'm going to swim across there, uh, my ever-present cat, Nala. Hello, Nala. And there we go. Now, all I've got to do is take the tester out and insert the pipe where the tester was. And here we go. Tester, tester, tester. And it'll come. There it is. Yay. <laughs> right. Pipe in. There we go. And with a bit of luck, my dominator will start to move. Okay, that's in nicely there. Let's go and have a look at the dominator. There we go, the other end into the pipe. And there she blows. Look at that. Isn't that graceful? I think that's so beautiful. It does tend to tumble a little bit. It does a little dance, but it's quite sexy. But uh, once you've got one of these things, it's going to give you hours and hours of amusement just watching it bumble around in your pool. It's very, very nice indeed. Now, what you'll also find is that if your dominator isn't going up the sides as far as you would like or you'd expect, then if you just tweak that um, regulator a little bit, twisting it inwards, uh, it'll go faster. And uh, obviously, if you tweak it, the other direction it'll make it go slower so have lots of fun with your dominator i think it's a superb piece of equipment but i can only really tell you in two years time when it's still dancing around my pool thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe please it's very important to me thank you very much Pretty fully dominator.